What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another time of truth. I should say a time of truth. For this week, I just want to let you know that shifts are happening. All right? Shifts are happening here. It's not always a one and done. All right? I don't want us to get caught up in, oh, okay, becoming a woman of God's kingdom, I'm saved, and that's it. No. God still has to get rid of some things within us, right? Like, we still have some development to do. We still have some learning to do. We still have some life to live in a new way, right? Life and life more abundantly. Remember from last Sunday? And so I want to just let you know today, in case you've been discouraged, in case you've been wondering, in case Satan has been whispering to you, I just want to come and bring you some good news today. Amen. And your good news is that shifts are happening here in this development room. Let's call our salvation life. The, as, look at it as a development room, a daily development room with our Savior who washes and redeems who refines and corrects, who loves and who restores, right? And so I want you to know that you are in a development room with the one who has hands like no other. I love how the scripture says, mighty are the works of his hands. And so I just want to come here to remind you today that chains are breaking. I just want to come and remind you today that mindsets are being renewed. I believe that through the lessons, if you've watched, them, if you've paid attention to them, if you're even just living and pursuing Christ on your own, I believe that mindsets are being renewed. I believe that aha moments are occurring. I believe that strongholds are being destroyed. I believe that darkness is being pushed back. Come on now, come on. Do you believe what's happening to you on the inside? You may not see it yet because God is doing an inside thing in your innermost being, in your well-being. God is doing a new thing in the development room, in the secret place. Taste buds are shifting. I just believe it. Do you believe that your taste buds, your appetite cravings, I'm, I'm talking about what you choose to partake in, what you choose to engage in, what you choose to entertain, what you choose to talk about, the type of people you choose to be around. I'm saying taste buds are beginning to change. Shifts are happening. Shifts are happening. Dynamics are shifting in this development room. The dynamics of your heart chambers, the dynamics of your mouth, the dynamics of your senses. I believe that shifts are happening. Come on, homegirl. You got to believe. You got to believe. Come on, you got to believe. Blessed is she who believes. That what he has promised, he will fulfill. He promises you. He promises you life and life more abundantly. Are you in agreement with your promise? Are you in agreement with the shift that Jesus can usher you? Are you in agreement? And I just want to remind you today that shifts are happening. The curtain is torn. When they crucified our Savior, he had you in mind. On the cross, he looked at you. On the cross, he looked at you. And he says, I'm doing this for my daughter. I'm doing this for my son. I'm doing this for their livelihood. I'm doing this for their well-being. I'm doing this so that shifts can happen. I'm doing this so that chains can break. I'm doing this so that mindsets can be renewed. I'm doing this so that they can be reconditioned. I'm doing this so that they can be reconciled unto me. From where the Satan and being born into sin and shaped in iniquity has tainted them, has marred them, has scarred them. I, I'm doing this. And so you know on first Sunday how we take communion. And the Lord says, do this in remembrance of me. Do this in remembrance of how I came to set you free. When I gave up my last breath, they didn't take it from me. I gave it up for you so that shifts could happen. And when I said, it is finished, the curtain tore. 
the veil broke. And now you, you may be saying, Jesus, Jesus, why have you forsaken me? Only to not understand that your resurrection is happening. That shifts occur and that's you resurrected. That's you taking off your grave clothes. That's you taking off your dead clothes. That's you coming out of the tomb. Oh, yes, baby. Shifts are happening. I need you to believe it. And here you are. Choosing to say. Here I am, God. Break me free. Here I am, God. Resurrect me. And every shift of interruption, it's divine. It's a divine disruption from the death and decay and the mortar. God, resurrect me. Fill my cup. I'm thinking of a song that says, fill my cup, fill it up, fill it up, fill it up so high. Right? And you want to know that God is your cup filler. You want to know that he is the one who fills your cup so high to where, baby, you're living in the overflow. The overflow of what you thought could have killed you. You've been resurrected, baby. Shifts are happening in the development room. Shifts are happening. And so now you say, steady my path, Lord. I don't want to run now because I've been resurrected. I don't want to run now because I feel like, whoo, I made it. Steady my steps, Lord. Steady my steps. Order my steps on the narrow path. He says, wide is the gate, but narrow is the path. Remember to tell yourself, I am your righteousness, God. Develop me here in this development room. It may seem like darkness is all around me, but you're really just allowing my picture to be developed clearly. Come on, photographer people. What is it called? The red room? Come on. See, that that blood of Jesus. Ha! It's making your finest wine, baby. I love it. Lead my way, God. Lead me into the way of living as beautifully woven. Come on, repeat after me. Engage yourself. This is a time of truth. You got to open up your mouth and tap into your truth. Activate yourself in this development room. Activate your ships. You don't have to be dormant. Engage with your Savior. I just wanted to come and encourage you today. I just wanted to come and remind you today that your narrow path is being created for you. Your path to deliverance is here for you. It's being tailor-made and catered for you. Remember I said on the cross, he looked at you. His eyes saw you. And he loved you enough to know that death and resurrection had to occur first in him so that your own death and resurrection can occur within you. Come on, sleeping beauty. Don't resist your sleeping period here in this development room. You got to sleep so that God can work. I love how when I, I'm, I'm just going here, I love how in the book of Genesis, when God saw that it wasn't healthy for man to be alone and that man needed a suitable helper, not with the animals, not with the beasts of the field. He needed a suitable helper. And I love how God put Adam to sleep. He put Adam to sleep. He put Adam to sleep and he created from his rib woman. And see, in this development room, you might feel like you've been put to sleep. But that's just God developing you where you're dormant. That's just where God pruning you, where you're no longer bearing fruit. That's just God creating for you to be able to do life with your suitable helper, Jesus. Put you to sleep. The chains so that he can break them. Put you to sleep. Put those old mindsets to sleep 
so that he can birth and renew and refresh new ones. Put those old patterns to sleep so that he can recondition and, and allow you to birth and form patterns of, of deliverance and life and freedom. The chains are breaking. The mindsets are being renewed. The taste buds are, are being changed. Put those old palates to sleep and let him develop and cultivate in you new. Oh, beautifully woven woman, your journey, it awaits you. You are already traveling it. If you're not resisting, if you're not rebelling, if you choose to align and agree with the promise, of deliverance. So in April, God has allowed me to allow us to walk through your ability to emerge. And if you follow me on Instagram, if you're watching this from YouTube or from Facebook, just know that emergence is being created in the development room. That your ability to emerge is gonna require some more inner work. I said it ain't a one and done. We gotta work out our salvation. We gotta work out our imperfections. We have to work out those things by surrendering and laying dormant. Sleep. As the sleeping beauties, so that our savior can kiss us. Are you ready to emerge? I mean, you've gotten some lessons this month on how to become a woman of God's kingdom. You've realized some things that deter you. You've realized that you need to control and tame the Eve in you. You realize that you need to become sober and alert to all the things working against you. You know that God will enable you. So are you ready to emerge? Are you ready to own your womanhood? Are you ready to shift it into a kingdom femininity? It looks different. It sounds different. It flows different. It reacts different. It responds differently. But you know what makes her relatable? Her trials, her tribulations. See, she don't have to party with the best of them. She just flow in her glory. And she's allowed to testify of how God delivered her, of how God developed her, of how God shifted and broke the chains that kept her bound, on how God renewed her mind. Can I testify? Because I'm talking about myself. Jesus has allowed me to travel the path and I'm still traveling because we're still in levels until we reach eternity. Our, our true home is heaven. We're just passing through here. And as I've been passing through here, I have learned how to let God develop me in the development room. I have allowed to learn how to let God shift me. I have allowed to allow God to heal me. I have allowed to let God deliver and set me free. I have allowed to let God make me a beautifully woven woman. In the midst of my tears, in the midst of my issues, in the midst of my trials and tribulations, I remain woven. It's a serious matter. Your road to emergence is a serious matter. Shifts are happening. Stay tuned, because we're going to get real in April. We're going to get real in April. Plug in and engage yourself. Don't sleep on your resources that God is providing. You're watching and you're looking at a woman who has been so weary because she did life as the world told her to. Because I did life as I thought I should have. I've been awakened by my Savior. Stay tuned.